tiny, tiny fingers. Uh, and it says, Howdy, gang. I apologize for not being able to attend tonight's proceedings, but Papa Lunchbox got shit to do. That's one way to put See, it. I told you. He was, he was researching Ant-Man. One of those things is a big question. Have what? you readied your shining minds and tiny hairless bodies? Uh, because here we go. I have been thinking of names. Over the years, we have known wrestlers under so many names and very few of them their own. I remember a time when I found out Shawn Michaels was really named uh, Michael Shawn Hickenbottom, and I thought, yes, that makes sense. I would want to change that name, too. <laughs> that being said, my thought, uh, my thought feet led me down the brain path to this simple and elegant question. Which wrestler, throughout time, has had the best ring name? For my money, Gorilla Monsoon had the finest ring name of all all time no one else even comes close it perfectly encapsulates the man's brutality and power and unpredictability it is straight up spot on i will go the same era i am a big fan of the junkyard dog yeah it's good like i like it's it's very visual it was very cartoonish a little bit in that time and before it became a cartoon in the 90s and they had a cartoon in the 80s you know it was just I don't know. I think it, that resonates with me for some reason. Jay What You got one, Bobby? I got one. Uh, I'm going to go with the obvious, Randy Savage. Because the Macho oh, Man so Randy great. Savage. Because so he's both a savage and quite Randy. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's, he's the best. What are you, you going to you know? He, he's, he's, he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. What about you, Mr. Genius? Honestly, he's a crackpot, insane idiot to this day. Of course, Jesse the Body Vancora. He's insane. Fucking insane. He's also he's also in Predator though, so you can't you can't be all bad, right? The yeah, government has built. Yeah, Running Man as well. Now that I think about it, but uh, I mean, just a you know. Perfect, like seventy-ish, eighty-ish, you know, era type of thing where it just, you know, it's his. It's, is that his real name? It is his real name. I think it is. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But like, he just, it was just the perfect little addition to his name, and it just, it couldn't have fit more perfectly. Mm -hmm. But man, did I tell you about the? I can't do. <laughs> did I tell you about the weather machine the government's building, McMahon? <laughs> Oh jeez! Wait, does Jesse Ventura know Cobra Commander? <laughs> is that what's going on? Yes, he does. <laughs> chemtrails. Yes, chemtrails. Oh, tell you about chemtrails. I hate he man. What? <laughs> I don't know. We're jumping. We're jumping. We're jumping. Mad Mike, what do you? What? What? What's your favorite name? Yeah. Um, gentlemen, while I respect your dis your your choices, you're all wrong. There's only one man who has, shall we say, the perfect wrestling moniker. Fandango. <laughs> you mean Marty Jannetty? <laughs> I mean <laughs> Kurt Henning, also known as Mr. Perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yes. yes. Because those promos, when, he, when I was a kid and I saw him... Throw a pass all the way downfield. Mm -hmm. Shoot the basketballs. Hit the hit the hit every pool shot that he had. Everything he did was perfect. He never ever missed hitting that gum with his hand when he spat it out, mm -hmm. and doing the towel flip mm -hmm. every single time. Mm -hmm. I have a towel when I go to the gym and I try to do that shit. Never works. I'm sure a lot of people do. <laughs> Whenever I chew gum, I try to spit it out and hit it with my hand. I just look like I'm swatting at a gnat. He is a Mr. Perfect for a goddamn reason. Oof, oof. Sammy never won the world championship. Yes. He, well, yeah, he's he, one he, of the he's ones. made WA champ, and uh, I believe. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, like WWE. WWE but he, he never had a major promotion. Yeah. You're right. All right. Uh, how about uh, uh, from the chat room? Of course, Big John Stud from uh, yeah. Hot Wheels. That's a good one. Oh. Big John Stud. He was a big guy. He was a big guy. Uh, I don't know if he was necessarily a stud, though. I mean, I guess it depends on what you're into. Yeah, Alex Cars, uh, George. I, but I think in the '80s, like you, that was like he's a stud. You know, like like, like that's something oh, they, okay. like Vince okay. McMahon would yell. You know, look look at this guy, he's a stud. Um, 
gorgeous George from Alex Cars. He was gorgeous, oh, yeah. and he was George. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's good. He was, he was a pretty man. He was a pretty um, man. All right, since we all went kind of 80s, yeah. yeah. what would you guys say is the best modern one? Oh, come on, guys. Mojo Raleigh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, case in point. Okay. <laughs> <Move on. laughs> I think... I, I guess a, uh, out of most recent, uh, Roman Reigns is probably a good one. Yeah. That's a good That's a good name. Yeah, that's a good name. That's a good name for this era. Um, I'm going to uh, go Mil Muertes. Yeah. Okay.